this is episode one. This is episode one? This is episode uh, one. Not gonna film out of order again. That was confusing. Which Hey fam and welcome back to our channel. My channel, our channel, his channel, all in the same. We're married now, so I guess you know what mine is yours. I'm really excited. We have obviously are now working from home in staying at home, staying safe, and we have decided to compile a little YouTube series for your um, entertainment about our relationship, mm -hmm. about our story from when we first met all the way to our wedding day. And so I thought it would be kind of funny for this first episode, instead of us both sharing how we met, if we each individually share it mm -hmm. without like, the other person listening, and then we can edit them together to see if they match up. Perfect. Let's do it. I think it'd be kind of first? Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, okay. Get out of here. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> Hey everybody, as Savvy just mentioned, uh, part of this series, we are going to each individually tell the story about how we first met and that night, and then put them side by side, compare them, and see uh, where there's discrepancies and where they're also spot on. So I'm gonna go first and tell the story. Uh, so it was the first weekend in uh, May. I think the second weekend of May, it was May 16th. Uh, no, not the first weekend. My first weekend after my first year of law school in May. And I had come back to Kansas City to work at a law firm for the summer. And I was down uh, in Arkansas for the weekend for one of my best friend's weddings. And I was a groomsman in the wedding. And uh, my best friend and I were going to one of uh, my sorority sister's weddings. I remember standing up there. And you know, we're sitting in like the audience of the audience, lol. Oh, the, we're sitting with the church pews. Doing what groomsmen do, stand up on stage during the ceremony. And all the groomsmen come up, you know, one by one. And the very last groomsman walks up. And looking out in the crowd and seeing a beautiful blonde haired girl out in the audience who I did not know. And that sparked my interest, naturally. And I leaned over to my friend and I was like, who is that? The whole entire ceremony, I'm like staring into his soul, like trying to get his attention so hard. <laughs> and so the wedding ceremony continues, they get married, you know, the reception starts, food, drinks, dancing, all that stuff. And I noticed that this uh, aforementioned beautiful blonde haired uh, girl was dancing like crazy the whole night and flipping her hair and dancing. So during the reception, I think I danced the entire time just trying to flip my hair, anything that was like trying to get his attention. Dancing near me a lot also. And there was a few times even we were like in the same group circles of people talking, but I was like too terrified to say anything. I kind of picked up on uh, on some vibe and kind of, uh, you know, you know, felt, felt like maybe there was something there. Uh, and I went on and we hadn't met yet. I did not introduce myself. Uh, it's probably my bad. I probably should have stepped up and done a little bit better job there. But towards the end of the night, we were walking to uh, send away the bride and groom. And she came up next to me. We're all leaving to like do like a little sparkler send off. And uh, I walk up next to Nate and I was like, I don't think I've met you yet. My name's Savvy or whatever. And started talking about how she knew one of my friends and just told this story, like completely putting him down and like making fun of him, which was little did she know the weight of my heart. And then I started making fun of his friend that was right in front of us, which usually isn't like me, but it was the only thing I had to like talk to him about besides, hi, you're really hot. And so I loved that. And one of our friends comes up and is like, oh my gosh, you guys are like gonna end up together. Like, oh my gosh, Savvy is going to be in pageant. She's gonna be Miss Arkansas. Like right when you graduate law school, Nate, then you guys can get married, it's perfect. And then Nate's like, ha ha ha, LOL. He didn't say LOL, let me clarify that. Uh, I did not know how old she was, so I invited her to the bars afterwards, not realizing she was 19, going on 20, almost 20, but 19 years old, so she couldn't come out. Nate then asked, hey, like, you guys are coming to the bars with us, and I was 19 at the time, <laughs> and so I was like, um, uh, maybe, maybe another time, and then... And, uh, that next night I was supposed to hang out, kind of hang out with somebody else, but it wasn't really, like, a set in, like, stone, or there weren't, like, plants or anything like that. I were walking back to the car with my friend, and I looked at Megan, and I was like, oh, 
like it did not work. I was like, that's just, it's not gonna happen. I was devastated. I was so sad. I was like, dang it, like he's supposed to, you know, hang out with another girl tomorrow. I just, you know, driving Megan, you know, back to her house. We were still depressed over my failed venture of trying to get Nate to like me. And then we pull up to Megan's house and Megan gets a text from Nate's best friend and said, hey, let's all hang out tomorrow night. And we did. And so we audibled kind of and did a double date the next night. Uh, was it? I think it was two nights later, actually, with uh, my best friend and her best friend, who were coincidentally very, very close friends, and me and her. So. And it was the most awkward double date in the history of double dates. I'm going to tell that story a different time, but that's my recollection of how we met in that night. What did you say? Probably what you said. Did you, did you give the right? <laughs> Seven spoon. Bye! Dead. Gone. <laughs> uh, I think I got it right. Yeah? I, I remember the night, really. Well, I would hope so. I would, yeah, I would hope so too. I hope you, you got it right. Did you talk about double date? Uh, not in detail, no. Okay. I think I mentioned it. Okay. Maybe that's for another time. Okay, deal. Yeah. We'll do that another time. All right, fam, episode one. Wrapped up. In the books. We'll see you next time. <laughs> yeah, hopefully it doesn't look like you're looking at me the whole time. Uh, I'm sorry. You were standing right there. Was so, this... I, I was trying to look at it in the middle. Oh.